Okay, so uh, just a quick background with this beautiful photo here, but uh, this of course is the atrium right outside. And this is gonna be you know, what we're thinking of as sort of one of the, the, the grandiose entrances to this uh, you know, essentially film academy. I know it has a more formal name at this point. But uh, by way of background, remember, it was about seven years ago when this whole facility was under a master plan uh, contract. And the city, when we came in, we said, we're gonna, we're gonna tear that up and we're going to take control of this facility on our own, which is a heavy lift. And so everyone said, what's the plan? And we said, well, we don't actually know. We're gonna figure it out. And lo and behold, we have a lot has happened. So to sort of just catch us up. The first part of the plan was we need to make these buildings remotely usable. And that's what the roof is all about. So with wonderful funding from the state, and from the governor and from the legislature and city council, we were able to fix the roof and also fix the floor. So that made these buildings sort of possible for actual use. And then the other thing was this courtyard. So we said, we're gonna activate the outside space so that we can use it for farmer's market and everything in between. So these have been the city investments sort of leading up to this. And then the next piece of our vision was to get one anchor tenant. And wonderfully, this is where CNM has come through. And so uh, we'll actually, this is probably a good segue, you can walk through sort of the partnership for what's gonna be inside. Sure, well, we're so excited. Uh, as you know, CNM's had a, has a film program, uh, digital arts, arts. Uh, we've had a program for more than 20 years. So as a staple in our community, in this industry, uh, we have expanded and maximized the use of our existing facilities. Uh, we undertook a serious uh, study, a feasibility study, to figure out where we needed to grow and expand our programming. And that happened about the same time the city and the state were looking to make a significant investment in this industry. So we were excited to be able to walk through, I'd say, three or four different options for us, including even going back to our main campus. But we really knew that to leverage the resources and the strengths of our community and our state partnerships and certainly the city's vision and the mayor's vision uh, for the rail yards, we knew this was the right place to be. So we are excited to build, I would say, two boxes in a box um, with the CNM programming that will be, um, I guess, on the east side of this building. And then the uh, state's New Mexico uh, Media Arts Collaborative will be here as well. And so, again, we're excited that we're able to be in this historic, uh, historic site. We're glad that we're able to, again, leverage our resources and expand our programming. Um, and certainly be able to serve as a resource for really for the whole state. So again. All right, so and then let's go take a look here. So <clears throat> you, why don't you start sure. with this one, Tracy, actually. So as we're all talking about which offices we all want to relocate from main campus here, um, we're excited that we're going to have some of our, our, fil our film director uh, will be here in addition to our state offices and our um, local offices to manage this property and site. You're going to see a number of classrooms that allow us and our students uh, to build material, to build their materials, to test and uh, develop um, their own films. You're going to see some of our, our short, our small studios here. We have some larger sound stages that, again, uh, can seat up to 100 people. So we anticipate, we know, we are planning to have community uh, viewings here. And certainly the state uh, economic development office and their film office will be running a number of those programs as well. We certainly have a number of prep areas. As I mentioned, we have programs throughout our three of our campuses, but we know that we will have sew sewing, hair and makeup, uh, and some of our other uh, prep uh, spaces for our students to be able to prepare for their productions, but also learn more of their skills and trades. And then certainly we have some mill, mill, mill construction mill and fabrication, because as you know, it takes quite a bit to build and construct your site, your, uh, your stages. So again, we'll be moving some of our uh, work that happens at our Advanced Technology Center down here. So with that. All right, so uh, let's come on over here and we'll talk a little bit about the film industry as well. Okay, so film, uh, first off, in New Mexico is alive and well. We know uh, our administration worked hard about, uh, I think it was four years ago, to bring the Netflix studio here. We have NBC Universal Studios, and we have this tradition of filming in New Mexico. We're aware of this. Uh, we also have our Albuquerque Film Office. Cindy is here for specific film questions. But <clears throat> this industry um, is the fastest growing uh, in our state. 
and now it's also one of the largest. So it is literally part of who we are economically. But the challenge with the film industry has actually always been a little bit similar, even since I got involved in um, trying to work with the film industry about 15 years ago as a state senator. And it's basically this. We want it to be as homegrown as it can be. That's been the challenge, right? And that's been sort of the criticism. But part of that is CNM has realized is, well, we have, we have to grow our own for the film industry. And that's exactly what CNM is stepping up to do with their training programs. But they obviously need a facility to do it in. So this facility is actually going to be, as Tracy said, inside what you're seeing. So, so the exterior walls from the outside are going to look more or less the same. So the studio is going to be inside, and that has to do with its historic structure and everything like that, but also so they can film in here. Right. And so we sort of capture that awesome film background that we know and love from Transformers and all the other movies that have been here. So what it's going to look like, you can see here in these pictures, and Tracy can, can walk us through a little bit about what that is. So as I mentioned, uh, CNM will have offices here. The, uh, the State New Mexico Media Arts Collaborative will also have their operating uh, stages here. You can see there. Well, you can see how this is a, uh, a flexible space. Uh, we'll be able to move not only the stage but our workspaces here, conference space. Uh, this is a fantastic lobby, not only for um, preparing or small skits, but it's really going to be the entryway into the sound stage area or the staging area where we'll have our small productions in the theater that hosts about a hundred people. Um, and again, mill work is that way. More offices are that way. So. Mm -hmm. And you can see too, like, I love how they put plants up here, by the way, this just cracks me up. You'd be like up on those rafters, but you, yeah, so you've got the building inside a building. So you can get that visual there. Okay, now tell us what this is. I don't actually even know what this is. So this is a good one for you. So I think this is the, uh, this is the stage that really is being led by the New Mexico uh, Economic Development. Program. Okay. So they were very focused on making sure that we have state of the art uh, sound stage so that, uh, and particularly given the location, right, it's really important that if we're, we're um, allowing our students to help with set and design and, and sound design, that we have to insulate uh, the site from the traffic that's going by. So it was very important to have this uh, incredibly state-of-the-art, state-of-the-art uh, a showing room, really, for our students to learn, but also, again, to have the ability to bring people in to uh, have them experience uh, really a theater like nowhere else in the city. All right. Okay, we'll come to our last stop over here. Uh, so this is a cutaway. It's not actually, it's like, because the roof is cut in half, right? So that's, but that's, you can see again, the building inside a building there. Um, but, and then on this side, uh, we have, look at the view from looking out, how iconic and amazing this is going to be for the folks, the students, our kids who work there uh, and who learn there. And of course, anyone from Hollywood sees a picture like this and they're like, wow, that's one of the coolest sort of film academy studios that I've ever seen. So uh, this design is very, very cool. So the architects did a great job with that. Go ahead. Well, I was say, <clears throat> the opportunity here also is that this becomes the anchor. So the, the, the buildings we see behind us and around us will only become activated given the exciting design that's happening here. So again, we're going to be bringing uh, not only the farmer's market and the community in this space, but as we think about a seamless transition to the neighborhood, um, again, we're really reflecting not only this partnership with the city and certainly with our students in our neighborhood, but really the, the design is also helping to amplify the site we have here, but really also uh, respect the neighborhood feel uh, that we have here as well. Mm -hmm. So to wrap up our kind of uh, um, pitch here, if you will, is that what this means for downtown and the neighboring community. You know, it, this project is basically 40 years old. I think I am the fifth or sixth mayor to work on this project. But this is going to be the first time that this facility is going to be used more or less every day, not holidays yeah. and whatnot, but year round, every day, and hundreds of students are gonna come here. And that activity is going to lift up the area around us, including this edge of downtown. So we're hopeful. You never know exactly what students are going to do, but you know, when we think of things like cafes and apartments and stuff like that, uh, it should also lift up downtown. And so that's a wonderful thing. And again, we're doing this preserving all of the historic nature and also the Borellis edge that actually won't really be affected at all. Uh, and so uh, we also want to acknowledge that you know, this is such a big project. It's a little bit like the rail trail. 
uh, you know, when we finish this, we're going to have roughly a third of the rail yards kind of figured out. We know what we're going to do with it. Um, there's still two thirds that way. And so that remains to be seen. There are no plans for any of that at this point. We're just focused on delivering on this third, on the northern uh, third of the property. And we'll see what comes next. And, you know, who knows who will even be around to deal with that. But if we can do this, that is essentially 40 years in the making gift uh, to the city of Albuquerque and the next generation of folks who work in the film industry.